Just over 24 hours ago, the news started to come through of a devastating earthquake in southeast Turkey and northern Syria. This morning, as we've been hearing, the true scale of the disaster is emerging. The death toll continues to rise, and a part of the world which has suffered so much in recent years is beginning the long, hard task of mourning the dead, tending to the injured, and eventually rebuilding destroyed buildings, renewing shattered communities, and healing broken lives. In the face of such disasters, in the midst of the rubble and the wreckage, good news is hard to find. And yet I was heartened by the response of the international community. Government leaders from across the world were quick to offer not only words, but very practical pledges of help. Warring Ukraine and Russia both promised aid, and neighbouring Israel immediately announced that they too would be sending assistance. In the face of adversity, differences are being set aside and opposing forces are uniting to work towards a common humanitarian objective. I can't begin to understand the terror of being woken in the darkness of the early morning to find my whole world collapsing around me. We have the good fortune to live in a part of the world where such disasters are almost unimaginable. This morning I pray for the people of Turkey and Syria and all those who have been affected by this disaster. I pray for all those who, this morning, are waking up to face unimaginable suffering. And I pray that whatever it takes to rebuild, they won't face those challenges alone. Indeed, the thoughts of all of us, I think, with the people in Turkey and Syria this morning. That was Father Jamie McMorrin from St Margaret's Catholic Church in Davidson's Mains in Edinburgh.